What up, my geeks? Jeffrey Powers here from Geekazine, and today we're going to take a look at the GameSir VX gaming half keyboard and mouse uh, device for you to actually uh, use for gaming. Uh, whether you're doing Xbox gaming, whether you're doing PS4 gaming, whether you're doing Nintendo Switch gaming, or uh, PC gaming. And it's a great little device. We've, we, I, I did some testing. In fact, I've had this for a couple uh, a, a couple weeks here now, and, and I've been just playing game back and forth. I'm not really as much of a gamer, so it gets tougher for me to figure, find the games that I really want to play. Now, I did a couple late night sessions, which you saw over on live. You know, Geekazine uh, over at YouTube, youtube.com forward slash Geekazine, the live area, of, or Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Geekazine, which is kind of apropos to have games on um, gaming devices on there like that. But uh, yeah, so you get to see what it was about if you were watching the live stream. Now, this is the game Sir VX Aim Switch. Uh, it's a Basically, like I said, a half keyboard and a mouse and a, a controller where you can put it onto your uh, your console. And they have different types of consoles. GameSir has been doing this stuff for gamers for a little while here. So if you go down this page, you see different controllers, different ideas, and so on and so forth. But this is the one we've got right here. So let's take a look at it really quick. Here it is, the GameSir. This is everything you get. You've got the keyboard, you've got the mouse, um, and then of course this little dongle right here. The dongle is what makes this all work for your Xbox, for your PS4, and for your PC. So this basically turns it wireless. You put it into a USB port, uh, and, uh, and, and you know, I do have to admit, I did put this into the fr uh, front USB port because I was having some issues with my Xbox One you know, when I plugged it in the back. I'm not sure if that happens with all of them, but once I plugged it in the front, it it, it looked fine. So anyway, get me here. Uh, so basically what happened was, let me just, there we go. So I had, you plug this into your device and then of course turn on the uh, half keyboard and plug in the mouse into the keyboard and then it recognizes everything. You're good to go. And it's simple that and of course playing games pretty straightforward as well let's take a look I, I was doing some game like I said some late night gaming I started with some simple stuff <laughs> I started with uh, columns you know I was I was uh, geeking out on the old Sega Sega uh, stuff and then I moved on to other things uh, such as Fortnite and and some of the other games that are out there uh, on the Xbox one on the PC and uh, and going from there this was one of the uh, this is one of the racing games. I uh, can't tell you which one it is because I can't remember. But anyway, and I'm horrible at, at race cars. So I was doing that. And then, of course, once again, I was uh, doing a little bit of Fortnite. So as you can see up on the top right-hand corner, I'm just using the keyboard and uh, the mouse. Uh, it, it took a little bit of uh, getting used to. Um, I found that I had to take, uh, you know, uh, work on my fingering, uh, knowing, you know, the W key is forward and the other key that was the S key is back. Uh, there's Fortnite now as, as I'm diving into the area uh, going from there. And of course, learning the different keys uh, like the E, D, R and stuff like that. Now, this is all app driven, so you can call up your GameSir app. It's the G Crux app, if I remember correct. There we go. And uh, with the G Crux app, let's switch over to the uh, PTZ here once again. Uh, with the Game Crux app, you have uh, you, you basically can choose your controller. It's not turned on, which is why you're not seeing it. And then, of course, you can actually program all your keys through this app as you go. So it's a nice app, nice way to connect yourself and play the way that you want to play. Now, let's take a look at some of the pros and the cons on this right here. First of all, uh, some, of the, some of the pros, first of all, it's a wireless device. It doesn't look wireless, and I'm gonna talk about that in a second. Uh, it is wireless to your Xbox One, to your PS4. It does have a fast response uh, in a little bit of lit as, as much latency as any type of wireless keyboard can have right there. Uh, it does give you different mouse speeds. What, what, I, what I mean about that is you have your 
mouse that you use on your computer. And I like it to be one speed. But when I'm gaming, I like that other mouse to be a little bit more draggy. So I can I feel a little bit more in control that way. So that's that's what I mean about that. So continuing on with the pros and cons, it does work with all the consoles, the Nintendo uh, Switch, the Xbox One, and the PS4, and PC, Steam, whatever. And it uh, is fully customizable, uh, like I said, with the app. Some of the cons, now the thing is the GameStar has a backlit keyboard system in one of their other devices and this one was not backlit keyboard but it's got you know nice little pressure keys in there so uh the mouse is not wireless and it's got a pretty long cord on it and the controller has to be connected and, and what do i mean about that uh basically when you have your xbox or your ps4 hooked up the main controller needs to be disabled so this can work and in order to disable it so what happens is you take this dongle and then you take a uh, um, micro usb controller and you, you plug in the usb port on the side and of course into the uh, controller it keeps the controller active but it tells it that the game sir is the primary controller if you don't do that on the xbox one if you don't do that on the ps4 it won't work so that means the only then the problem with that is just the fact that if you have your Xbox One or your PS4 tucked away in a corner, you got nice cable control, you get looks really nice in your in your place, then you've got to figure out a way to plug in that controller, and then it might be farther away than it, it can't be by your side. So if you need to switch the controller to some for some reason, you can't do that. If you want to play with the keyboard, you have to plug in the controller first and then walk back to your desk and, and do that. So that's the only issue that I have with that. But if you can get past those pros and cons, uh, let's take a look at the cons again. No backlit keyboard, mouse is not wireless, and the controller has to be connected to the Xbox One or PS4. If you can get beyond that, then this device is actually pretty nice. Uh, you, can, you can go and you play your games. Uh, like I said, I'm not really as much of a keyboard gamer, not much of a gamer for that matter, but not much of a the keyboard gamer. So it's tougher for me to, to move around. Uh, but once I got an idea of how it worked, I was able to play uh, games like Fortnite and, of course, the uh, racing game a lot better. So that is, besides the fact that it's not backlit, yeah, it can, that can be that can be ignored because half the time I'm not looking at the keyboard anyway. You have to worry about that if you're doing gaming in the dark and you need to see the keys as you go. Other than that, you know, it works uh, just like a keyboard. If it was a full keyboard, then I could be using it as a QWERTY keyboard. That would have been kind of nice to have the attachment to the other side. Slap it together, use it as a regular keyboard, disassemble it, use it as a half keyboard. And then, of course, I'm not sure what they're going to do about the wire, wired mouse here uh though those are the things that i find on that but other than that it is a pretty decent uh pretty decent device it is a pretty decent price we got the price down here in the show notes of course whenever you watch this video it changes so we're, we don't really talk about price too much inside the video uh but it is a great aim switch and of course they have some other great products from uh, game pads to keypads to touch controllers. You can go all the way over to their GameStar website and you can check it out from there. Let's uh, let's go over to there really quick. As you can see, gamepad controllers right there. Uh, we got touch rollers, we've got keypads, uh, which includes the uh, GameStar Z2, the VX aim switch, the Z1. And as you can see, these are lit up like I was talking about before. So, but otherwise, other than that, uh, it was, it's a fun, different experience for playing your games. And you as a gamer, uh, what do you think about keyboard gaming over using a controller? Do you do that more or do you do that less? You, you, let me know and let's talk about it on this product. Oh, that's the cons. <laughs> we'll talk about it and, uh, and go from there. Uh, text me over at Geekazine. Think Magazine, put in a geek. Or you can go over to geekazine at gmail.com. We're on Facebook, we're on YouTube, we're everywhere. So check that out. And if, of course, if you've got a controller, if you've got a gaming system, let me know. Uh, just a quick 
just so you know, the product was given to me by GameSir, but all opinions are of my own, so you can check everything out over at geekazine.com forward slash uh, reviews to find out my policies on that. And we will be giving away a couple of these GameSir devices coming up very shortly, so stick around, watch out for that. In the meantime, this has been the GameSir VX Geekazine review. Uh, what do you think on it? Let me know and tweet it out in the comment down below and of course you can also you can comment down below you can like and you can hit that bell for notification for the next video and until next time you guys geek out and we'll see you at the next video take care